All right, hello, hello, and welcome to Heroes Hour, a Steam Next Fest demo. Uh, as you know, it's part of Steam Next Fest 2022. Uh, you, which may may or may not still be going on whenever you see this. If not, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if you are, these demos are um, will last up to the 28th. Uh, after that, they may or may not be available. It depends on the developer's choice. Uh, but this looks like madness here, and I am absolutely all in. So just hang on, take a moment, and let's just see what this chaos ensues. We got like a lot. Of, we got a brown dragon that keeps hopping up. Uh, he's he, well, he's just died, and then there's a bunch of other enemy types. Something just froze a bunch of dudes. There's a panda with the bamboo stick there. A lot of little tiny dudes are getting blasted. What the hell? Like, the, the, the madness! Got a green dragon here, or a lizard. Well, no, that's probably a wyvern. There's a, a blue one. Or, no, maybe, no, it looks like a snake. Or a lizard. Same, similar vibe going on there. Tiny little dragons, bird, possibly. I can sit here and watch this for a, quite a while. Unless it starts repeating. Or is this could be an actual battle. Check the options. Uh... All looks good. This is all good. I love this. When devs put the stuff down low. Because you don't want your ears blasted out. That's great. Uh, okay, controls. So, I'm not sure what this is, but it could be an auto battler. Or a RTS. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Lexicon. Oh boy, um, how do you exit? Escape. That does that. <laughs> okay, let's go with the tutorial because I have no clue what the hell is going on. I'm assuming RTS because of resources, currency, and a troop. What's this little dude? Okay, just I'm just curious. Oh, okay, I got the the lion, the du little dude there with the ten of those. I'm assuming. And ten of those. Is that correct? Okay, sorry. Didn't distract you. Uh, welcome to the Heroes Hour. This tutorial will teach you the basics. You're currently looking at this adventure map. And the hero... And your hero stands there in the center. Okay. With the one with the little glowy orb. Right here. Uh, to start, select your hero by clicking on them on the map. Oh, wow. We got a large map. Okay, we move around. I'm assuming like that. Okay, we that tells us signifies we can uh, we've clicked on it. You can move your hero around the map by pressing right click where you want to go. Your hero also interacts with objects on the map. Go to pick up that pile of gold. All right. To the north. You click and you click right click once and then click again. Go to the most impo most important resource in the game is used to build up towns and increase the size of armies. Now make your hero go to the campfire over to the West left. Okay, you click, yeah, click to set the waypoint and click, right click again to make them move. Okay. Your hero can only move so far each day, but that campfire just allows you to move four extra steps. So, okay, campfires seem important. Use them to travel northwards. As you travel more, the map will be revealed and you will find a sawmill with zombies protecting it. I see a zombie right there, up there, so. All right. Now that you can move no further, you need to end your turn. To do this, by clicking the button below. End your turn, lest the enemy players take their turn, and then a new day starts. Okay. They'll probably move. We'll move to move closer to me, or they'll move randomly, or whatever. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll find out. And then a uh, new day starts. The enemies play the game much the same way you do. Okay. In turn. They, they did nothing, probably because they weren't alerted to my presence. Each day your hero has their movement points refilled. You also gain resources daily from certain buildings like the sawmill up there. The zombies are defending it, but you can attack them by moving towards them. Notice how the path turns red when approaching a fight. Oh, okay. So green, they probably wouldn't be able to fight. They wouldn't notice me. Green, we're in fight range and it's time to kick some ass. Gotcha. Okay, let's go. And then we go to a fighting battle scene, which... Okay, before battle starts, you can move around your... Regiments which are marked by banners. Okay. 
Uh, you have two different units, Goblin Gunners. So that's these dudes right here, right? Goblin Gunners attack from a range while Gargoyles are... These are Gargoyles? Oh, sweet. Uh, a gar a fast melee units. Click start battle to let the battle commence. Okay. Gargoyle. I would like... Oh, you can drag them around. Or... But you can only go so far. So I want you to go there. I want you to start probably blast from over here. And I want you... Ooh. Oh, okay. You push them around. You get your butt in there as well. Like that. Don't know if there's resources to be gathered or what. Kind of looks that way. But, okay. Let the battle commence. And I'm assuming I do nothing. During battle, your units will fight automatically. So you're... And so will your hero too. So it's auto battler. Uh, I, I dig that. You can click and drag to order units to move. Okay. Oh, we can hit pauses. That is brilliant. Because now I can figure out where I want to go. I can I read. And I can read also. You can click and drag to order units to move. But you don't have to. Often your units will do fine on their own. But I want these guys to range up behind there. So. Oh, they've completed. And he's fleeing. Theo gain that must be this dude here. Theo, okay. Theo gains 605 XP. Now that the zombies have been defeated, you can pick up the resources. What is useful for constructing buildings? You should also claim the sawmill by moving your hero to touch his great flag. As soon as you control the sawmill, it will give you two wood for each state. Okay. Uh, get that wood. Get that wood. And then the flag. All right, we've claimed it. You lose armor units in battle, so you should get reinforced before you go into battle again. Move to the east until you find the town, then take control of it. Which looks like it's up here. Take control of it. You can also pick up any straight units on the way. First of all, what the hell is this? Impossible. Oh. Ah, uh, they give you... So, we can't get that. If I... Okay, right there would be... Uh, rain... Uh... Battle. All right. Uh, let's see. Hard. So I don't think we should go for. Uh, yeah, it's a campfire there, but I don't think we should go for that. This is, this obviously means uh, next day. We would have to end our turn before we can move there. So let's roll, and then, right, in turn. I'm gonna leave this up here. I don't want to close it because in case it like, because I want to know the tutor all the tutorial stuff. Ivory Palace, rock and roll. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? Units. How do we get? Towns allow you to create units to expand your army. Oh, hang on. Uh, sorry, I got a phone call in the middle. Uh, don't know this. So. Sorry about all that. <laughs> Unexpected phone call in the middle of a damn video recording. Alright, well, what are we doing? Towns allow you to create units to expand your army. Do this by pressing the button with the main... With 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 the man with the pitchfork. What, what man with the pitchfork where? This? No. Um, let's see. Man with the pitchfork is right down here. Hang on. I don't know. All right, you. Uh, to, okay. Units to expand your army. Just by pressing the man with the pitchfork, this brings the up to, up to the unit creation screen. Okay. Then uh, pay gold to create available goblin gunners. All right. Create max. Uh, max cost a thousand forty. How much do we have? Where's my gold? Cash right there. Fourteen thousand. That's uh, maximum. Each turn you can construct one new building in your town. You should build a tower, which is a type of, okay, uh, build a tower. This gate, uh, locked in demo, fort, towers, where? Bottom left to open the build plan, then double click, okay. This, okay, build planner, uh, upgrade workshop, plaza, you own this building, okay. Well, where's the tower? 
Arcane Spire. Is that what you mean? Bottom left to open the build plan to double click the tower. Oh, right here. Uh, you can now choose either gargoyles or, scro or scrolls for your army. There's a limit of how many units can be created of each type, which is reset every seven turns. Next, travel the northeast and send your hero to the minor shrine to use for your army. You can switch back later, but each week you can only create one of the two. We could, when the creature goes below half health, has a chance to cast a spell. Uh, the creature cannot be affected by poison, confusion, fear, petrification, charm, or burning. The other gargoyles, they're, they're deadly. They're unable to fly. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the gargoyles. Alright, uh, exit this. Uh, you can now, okay, next travel to northeast. So, we're done. What about over here? Still hard? Easy. Let's get that campfire and attack these dudes. Oh, looks like they're... Okay, since we own the lumber mill, they're, they're bringing, uh, they're bringing us wood. And we're gaining wood. The mine gives two wood. Daily income. The mine? You mean lumber mill? Let's go attack this wolf. Alright, we've got... Wolves. Okay, I want to drag you guys right over here. You here. No, wait. You. Oh, you're the gargoyles. Okay. And you should be pretty close. Start battle. Okay. Hero. Back out, back out, back out. And let them take care of it. It's a lot of... Player one. Pretty close to getting wrecked. Uh, let's see. Minus one gunner, and they lost 15. Alright. Uh... The hero gains ore after every battle, or can be spent in the Aether, Aether Forge to create units, in town to create units, spells or other effects. The amount of ore increases with skill level. Increase the resource cost by creating units in any of your towns by 20% per rank. Hmm. I'm going to go with the, we win ore after, because creating more units would be beneficial to us, because we can have plenty of units to, uh, you know, do stuff. Let's get the mercury. Let's grab the camp. We'll grab this. We'll grab this. Sea foam spirit. Nope. No path. Okay, no path found. Okay, I don't know how you would get there. Moderate. Uh, intermediate. Easy. Would that come? Will that be in your? How do we cancel? We do. Well, I guess we don't. And we in turn. Nobody's going to bother me since we're okay. Uh. All right. I want to move you, dudes. Over here, I want to move you dudes here, and I want to move you up this way. Commence battle. And I want to, you guys to push. Push in there and shoot them up. Gargles, where are you at? Okay, you're good. Uh... It actually says you can speed it up. I saw at the top there you can uh, you hit speed up, but like, why? It's fun to watch the battle. Plus you, uh, we got a cape. I don't know what any of that's for. This is impossible. I think if we try, we can't get in the treasure until we attack him. Moderate, huh? Can we create more units? Clues. Dig for riches. Using dig will use four movement points. Spellbook, camp. Make the hero camp. 
An area raised attack and defense by plus two, but hero cannot move. Meanwhile, increase okay. It also increases the resource gain near the mine. Let's go back to town. Let's see if we can create some units. Maximize them. Exit. Okay. Done. Wait, can we create a building? How much does it cost? 2,010 ore. Let's grab this gold. In turn. Alright, then we'll grab this gem. Miner's Shrine. The Miner's Shrine taught your hero the spell named Summon Anima. When you in next enter battle, you can choose to use the spell to more easily defeat your enemies. Cast the spell costs mana, which will slowly regenerate day by day. Now please continue north until you find the Ore Quarry and attack the units to defend them. Okay. We'll close that. I didn't want to close it. I think there's no problem closing it. And you can open it back up too, so that's good. Um, let's see here. Challenging. Um, one second. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and, and ooh, there's a moderate fight over here. We're going to go ahead and stop here. I'm going to we'll come right back after I get done. But I'm going to stop here. If you like what you see, maybe drop a like or subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you can play it for yourself, the demo, uh, the link to the Steam page will be down below. Whether the demo will be available or not is, uh, you know, whenever you see this video. <laughs> you, you, I don't know. You go check the Steam link. You'll see or, or not. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps.